Hey, everybody. My name is Nick McHenry, and we are One Shop, social communication for retail. Now, I want you to meet Candy, a sales associate at one of the retailers on our platform, Tootsies, who has an upscale women's wear boutique, does the majority of their sales through repeat customers, and the best way to drive these sales is through personal outreach. Unfortunately for Candy and her team, this is an extremely manual process, mainly done from their own phones. So most customers are completely ignored the minute they leave the store, causing a 40% lost revenue opportunity year over year. On the customer side, Anita loves shopping at Tootsie's because of the in-store personalized experience that she gets. But like she's like most of us, she's busy. So she also shops online because she likes the convenience, but she's overwhelmed by the amount of options and lack of service she receives. That's where One Shop comes in. With One Shop, Candy has all of her clients like Anita organized right on her phone. So when the newest delivery of the brand Alexis comes in, she simply searches for anyone who's bought that brand or comparable brands to target customers who might want to be reached out to when it comes to this delivery. She can then use templates to further text those customers rapidly, making sure to personalize along the way if she wishes. Anita, not needing to download an app, can just text Candy back like she would a friend and ask her directly for dinner party suggestions. Candy can then help her using e-commerce products or products she shot straight from the floor because it's not online, style those into custom looks, and then suggest that to Anita via a shoppable hyperlink. Anita now can browse with the convenience of shopping online and personalization of shopping in-store. And then we believe there's a larger opportunity to layer the network of brands on top of this platform so brands can give exclusive content, digital assets, dropship product, all of which Candy can access and then forward on to her customers to further enhance the customer experience. In the last seven months, Tootsie's has done over 11,000 communications, driving over $2 million in sales within 30 days of those communications. We charge for this value by charging $249 per month for 5,000 communications and then two cents for any text message past that. And then this year, we're excited to latch in-app payment processing to further monetize our e-commerce channel. Since launch last May, we've been growing at an over 30% month-over-month growth rate, tripling revenue in 2021 to over $20,000 in MRR across 150 total locations and 50 retailers and growing. We've done this on the back of outbound sales with a one-month sales cycle and 80% demo close rate, bringing inbound leads to our channel partnerships of POS integrations and retail consultants, as well as our bottoms-up motion of partnering with brands to invite their retailers and associates to the platform. In the next three years, we'll focus on 2,700 total locations of the 200,000 fashion and accessories and jewelry U.S. boutiques. And then by expanding globally and horizontally, we'll get to $100 million in ARR in the following three years. I felt this experience in pain myself, traveling the world for brands like Giorgio Armani and Philip Klein and Luxury Wholesale. And then my co-founder, Travis, took several startups to product to market and tens of millions in sales. Once again, we are One Shop, social communication for retail. All right. Thank you, Nick. All right, Robert, we'll start with you this time. Question for Nick. Yeah. Um, what do you think is going to be your biggest differentiation from other, other platforms that are solving the same problem? Okay, thanks, Robert. Scott, question for Nick. Um, how, do you, how will your customers measure the ROI of using your solution? Is it thinking about the change in, in LTV because um, retention is higher or sales are higher? I'm just curi curious um, how that'll get measured. Relatedly, is your target sort of the small boutique shop with you know, an owner and one or two employees or is it something bigger than that? Just curious, thanks. Thanks, Scott. Okay, back around to Amit. Uh, thanks. Uh, two questions from my side. One is, uh, can you talk about like how many uh, customers like an average store on your platform has like uh, once they launch the platform? And then number two, um, you know, if you thought if you think about not a single store location but multiple store location, if somebody's shopping at multiple locations of that retailer, how do you kind of manage that relationship and who's who's actually owning it and how those brands approached it? All right. Thanks so much. And from our syndicate, Tyler is also asking about the retention. Can you tell us a little about your retention? So I'll let you tackle those, Nick. Two minutes. All right. Awesome. So Robert, I'll start with you when it comes to the biggest differentiator between our competition. 
So we're really focused on building for the individual sales associate and the manager on the floor. So we started with SMB to go to quick sales cycle and really get that feedback. But we're trying to build really a true bottoms up motion. And we have about 70% usage when it comes to a store versus the competitive market that's traditionally gone enterprise and then tops down, which has much, much less than that in terms of the adoption by salespeople. So really building for them and not giving them a reason to basically do their own system on their own personal cell phone outside of the store itself. So we built systems in place to really make it flexible to their needs and really building for themselves, which is why we introduced the brands because they told us we want to be connected to our brand partners, communicate in app between them and order reorders. Uh, so Scott, when he talks about you know our ROI of our customers, this is the first time they've been able to get ROI off of this and we give that to them. So before it was completely decentralized, their associates were texting their customers one-to-one. They had no way of measuring it, but we can show them how, much, how, how many of those text messages are actually converting to sales. So we look at a 14-day window and a 30-day window of did that outbound outreach actually convert to a sale? And what was that demographic? Were you retaining a customer in terms of, you know, were you having them shop more often throughout the year than they traditionally do? Were you regaining an old customer that maybe shopped with you on average every two years? And then they came in, you know, twice this year because of that. And then further boiling down from there. And then when it comes to our target market, we are focusing on the boutique, but to mid-market as well. So when you go to the mid-market, they look like enterprises and they have a corporate office in New York or LA, but they have you know, 10 to 20 to 30 locations across the US that are staffed by about two to three people at any given time. So even though they have a central corporate office, they look a lot similar to the boutiques that we work with with a single location because their associates have two to three people in the store. And then this sort of goes into uh, a meet your question versus you know, a single location versus multi-location situation. And then uh, how many customers they have. Our average store, whether the mid-market or small customer, will have about three to 5,000 customers in the database per location when they launch with us. And then in the first month, they'll engage about 20 to 30% of that in a personalized manner. And when it comes to single or multi-location, we have something built in our platform where uh, we'll be able to identify who the best relationship with is, usually who spent the most at which location. But I'll answer more of that question in the chat. All right, great. 